What I have done. Yes. Now, see this. Uh, it is known to you. Uh, but you should observe a few things. That is, a, uh, if you consider the multiplicand and multiplier, and wherever you have the multiplier one, uh, multiplier bit one, on that moment, whatever your multiplicand that you will have. And uh, after that, you shift to the left, and uh, second bit of the multiplier you consider, and you will get the another partial product. So one by one, you have all the partial product. After having all that, you will add something, nothing else. You just add all the partial product, and you get all the product terms. You can say that 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. It is, uh, it is known to you. In digital electronics class, already you have done uh, that mu array multiplier design. Now here, uh, there's a very simple algorithm. Yeah, this is a, see, just observe the algorithm. You consider one register for the multiplicand, one for the multiplier, uh, and uh, another register you can use for addition. So for that reason, it is, uh, you can say that accumulator. Whenever you have the bit, that is a uh, multiplier bit is one, on that moment you will add, otherwise no need to add, and shift right. And after that, you can have one by one all the uh, product uh, uh, terms. You can say that all the product terms means that um, I couldn't handle this thing. Mm. See this. This is all. All the term you can have. Uh, this is the uh, all the product term you can have uh, after doing one operation. See that you have this term. Then uh, first you have the first uh, term. After after addition of the second, then you can have the second term. In this way you can have. Okay. Now uh, this algorithm is very easy. What you have done in your plain paper, uh, pen and uh, pen, uh, paper that you can follow this algorithm. Whenever you have the value one, you just add and shift. And this you will do depends on your side. And this figure gives the uh, information what are the uh, main components you require and uh, uh, what are the data paths. Here you don't have any control lines. Okay. And uh, here is given only the one um, uh, F that means uh, different flags you can say based on your result. So multiplication, uh, you know that it is a repeated addition operation. Here is also follow the same uh, thing for your unsigned two numbers. Now, next is that if you consider this very easy, initialize with the value of M and Q. That means you want to do the operation 5 into you can see that 8 plus 4, uh, 12. Okay, you want to do this operation and what it uh, and initialize with the size of 4 because 4 bits uh, you have considered. Now, what you have done, first you choose that what is the bit of your Q0. Based on that, you do the operation. Okay, because it is a zero, so only the shift operation you will do. And if you have the one, then on that moment you will add, and at the same time you will shift. Okay, so this is the two operation. Uh, so uh, depends on the Q, Q0 value, depends on the Q0 value, what you will do, if it is zero, only the shift operation, left shift operation. And if you have one on that moment, add, and shift operation. Okay, so mute your, mute your mute your microphone. So what what is happen? 
a zero on that woman no need to add operation only shift operation whenever you have the uh, beat is uh, q0 value is one on that woman you add at the same time you will shift the operation in this way you can get the operation and uh, and or you can say that for each iteration what you will do decrement the size when you have the size zero on that woman you will stop so uh, you can see that it is zero so it is a left shift on that moment. So the right shift, uh, this is not the left shift, this is the right shift, sorry. That is a 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. So you will have the second bit of Q. And uh, after doing operation again, you will shift on that moment is this bit you can have here. So in this way, you can complete uh, for all the bits of your uh, multiplier, okay? So in this way, if you do the operation, ultimately you will have the value from A and Q, your product term. So whenever you shift, remember this thing, you shift total A and Q, okay? Not uh, Do not uh, shift the value of the aim, only A, Q, you will shift that. You uh, mainly what has happened, uh, whatever the product bits you have uh, uh, in your A, ultimately it will shift to the Q and of whatever the uh, multiplied bits that uh, you, you, will, the, you will, all will be shifted out and you don't have any the, the multiplied bits at the end and whatever the result you, uh, that you can have with the help of A and Q. So uh, what I can say, four by four, whenever you consider ultimately result you will have that is the 8 bit. So that 8 bit uh, is possible with the help of A and Q. Clear. Now another algorithm that is a uh, you can say the sign bit number and it is very famous that is called the Booth's algorithm. Um, what has happened is the same operation here is considered another another extra bit that is a Q minus 1. So multiplier normally 4 bit. So you can consider the Q or uh, Q means that uh, three, to, uh, 3 to 0, suppose you have another bit, if that is a minus 1, so all total you will have the 5 bit. Now, always you take that Q0 and Q minus 1. Based on that, this algorithm, so what are the combinations are possible? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So uh, for these two cases, only you will do the shift operation but for uh, this and this you will do the addition and other is that subtraction now check that it is a uh, one zero you will do the subtraction then arithmetic shift right and it is zero one on that moment it you will do the uh, addition operation boom, and that uh, at the same time you will do the arithmetic shift operation so already i have explained suppose your number is one zero 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 if you want to do the arithmetic shift operation arithmetic shift operation on that moment you, uh, you, what will be happen one zero zero this will this you have to fill with the uh, your sign bit so what is the sign bit before this operation you have that is one so for that reason after arithmetic shift operation you will have the result one one zero zero if it is suppose zero one zero zero on that moment, it will be 0, 0, 1, 0 because sine bit is 0. So here is the sine bit is 0. So for the boost algorithm, uh, initially we have to consider the another extra bit for your um, uh, multiplier that is Q minus 1. Normally start from Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, but another extra bit Q minus 1 you have to consider. Then last bit of the uh, multiplier and Q minus 1, you have to compare Z that may be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For 0, 0, 1, 1, you consider the, uh, you consider the, um, uh, that is only arithmetic uh, shift operation. And for a, um, 0, 1, you consider the A plus M and 1, 0, you consider the sub uh, subtraction A minus M. And another interesting uh, thing is here, that is, uh, uh, that is called the boost encoding technique. Uh, suppose your number is suppose zero zero uh, one zero number okay now uh, another extra bit suppose you consider the zero now whenever you have the value zero zero you consider the zero one one consider the zero zero one consider the value of one and one zero you consider the value of one's complement what will be happen you check that this is the original number two 
this is the two basically okay now uh, zero zero so for that you can write zero and it is a one zero so you can write one complement and zero one you can write one and for zero zero you can write zero now if you uh, compute the result from here what will be happen this is a the uh, uh, this is a four so four into one plus it is a two two into minus one uh, and uh, what you will have this at the zero bit no need to compute so four uh, minus two equals to two so originally whatever the value of you two that you can have if you consider this type of encoding technique this algorithm is done based on this technique whenever zero zero and one one uh, on that moment no need to do any operation previous what you have done for your sign bit uh, unsigned multiplier circuit there is uh, one for one you have to uh, add some value but here it is not required because uh, for that you can consider the zero bit so it is not required to do anything only you do the right operation and whatever the your product bit or term consider on that moment you can just consider okay in your final product term okay so now this is the bus encoding technique but algorithm you can remember in this way that is uh, consider considering the last bit of q and q minus 1 uh, based on that you can have the three operations one is addition subtraction another is that no need to any operation only do the arithmetic shift operation now i give one example then you can understand this this very easy see that initial configuration is that aim you have to consider the uh, your uh, one of the um, one of the term one of the value that suppose seven here we have considered the 12 into this is a 3 so uh, any you can consider that is a um, uh, you can consider the 3 here here is a 12 but here it is not the 12 actually this is uh, you uh, you consider the sign bit okay or, or you can consider the two sign number here uh, 12 means that what is the value beta can can you say that this is actually actually it is in two's complement method so it is basically the minus 4 okay so uh, here we want to do minus 4 into um, minus 4 into 7 isn't it this is a 7 so minus 4 into 7 we want to do bus algorithm Uh, you can use for uh, the sign uh, sign number so uh, what you will do first step is that whatever the number whatever uh, number suppose here minus 6 uh, i have considered but, but or you can consider also minus 5 also whatever the number uh, you know that uh, three type of representation we have uh, uh, mag the sign ma sign magnitude uh, magnitude number representation uh was complement representation to complement representation but remember bus algorithm we will follow the two's complement method suppose uh, 5 minus 6 on that one 5 is a positive number so we can consider 0 1 0 and for minus 6 what you have 1 0 1 1 this is a 6 so you have to do the two's complement okay so two's complement of this what what you can do so it is a very easy method just first find out where it is one write down 10 and then for others you just flip from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so in this way you can put the 1010 10. you can place in register m or you can register place in q so you know that uh, doesn't matter the order of your uh um, operands of your multiplication operation so any any had you can place now here minus 4 is placed in m and uh, um, uh, another uh, multiplication is uh, here is that q now what is happen initially we have to consider another extra uh, bit for your uh, q that is a q minus 1 equals to 0 initialize with the value of 0 now first operation is that iteration 1 a equals to a minus m so a minus m is that first uh, you have considered the 0 0 0 so minus m is that 0 0 0 0 minus m so m is 1 1 0 0 minus m is that 0 1 0 0 so uh, after doing this operation what you will have 0 1 0 0 so that you can put here now after doing this thing 
uh, what you will do that shift operation okay this is the right shift operation so 0 1 0 0 you will have 0 0 1 0 and this 0 will come to this 0 will come to here and that's why 0 0 1 1 so a and q will be your shifted to right and this is the arithmetic shift right here the sign bit is 0 that's why the sign bit is 0 here now for iteration 2 you will do the same operation here you can check that it is a 1 1 so it, uh, it doesn't do any uh, uh, summation or uh, uh, subtraction operation only you do the arithmetic shift right operation now here it is a side bit so that's why it is a 0 0 and uh, again you will do for this 1 1 you check that uh, q 0 and q minus 1 this is a 1 1 again you will do the shift operation without doing any subtraction and addition operation and for the last iteration you can see that this is 0 1 see here this is 0 this is a 1 so combine this two you will have the 0 1 and for 0 1 you have to do the uh, addition operation a plus m so now uh, after shifting all these three, uh, you have the value 0, 0, 0, 0, plus A means that 1, 1, 0, 0. So ultimately, you will have the 1, 1, 0, 0. And after having this, again, you do the arithmetic shift operation. After doing arithmetic shift operation, you will have the result 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So what is this? So for, uh, so first, you find out the sign bit. And that sign bit, you can understand that this is a negative number. And it is obviously, uh, the, this number is representing in your two's complement method. So you do the two's complement of your magnitude. Automatically, you can get the value. That is the 28. So uh, it is a very easy method. Uh, step by step, if you follow, automatically you can have the result. Now, uh, array multiplier, I don't want to explain. I just uh, keep here. Uh, just you can, I hope you can recall your last semester class. That is the array multiplier. All the uh, product term, if you have on that moment, uh, you can design this circuit and uh, see that here, uh, you can put all the uh, y is same. See that y3, 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 y3. And here it is you can see that all the y2, it is a all y1, and this is a y. I hope you understand all the term. This is the because x0, y0, that's why x0, x0, y0, x0, y1, so x0, y1, x0, y2, x0, y2. I hope you can understand all the partial product term. Okay. Now see that if you observe carefully, this way you have all the y are common. And in this, in this way, you can have all the x terms are common. So in this, uh, uh, in this uh, figure, uh, whatever you can observe that you can implement with the help of the simple AND gate. Okay, all the terms you can uh, find out with the help of your AND gate. So if you place Y and X in this fashion, so on that moment, uh, what will be happen? All the terms, it, all the uh, put, uh, partial product terms easily you can find out. Now how you can design with the help of this? Uh, with the help of simple adder circuit, we can consider to design all the uh, all the uh, product term and ultimately we can pass a product term and ultimately we can get all the product term here. Okay. This circuit is known to you better. You have done the last semester class. So uh, you can study again from your Morris Manu book this for this structure. Now division is, there are two types of the division algorithm. One is the restoring algorithm. Another is the non-restoring non algorithm. Here it is called the restoring algorithm. Uh, because of that, uh, first you know, you know that the multiplication is that uh, repeated addition, but division is the repeated subtraction. Okay, so uh, uh, sub whenever uh, uh, you will do the subtraction, and after subtraction, you can take the decision what is what will be your quotient value. I just give one example. Suppose four, five, six. Here I have given the six. So first you will try for the four. So obviously four minus six, it will be negative number. So for that you should use the quotient is zero bit. So in this way, if you if if you do the repeated subtraction and you can find out all the quotient bit of your uh, division. Okay. Now, what is the algorithm? Uh, here is also another register we consider for the A and uh, divisor you can consider here for the aim uh, another register q that is you can see that quotient or q register uh, for to keep your divided okay now 
uh, the count depends on your number of bits. Here is considered the five bit, but I have done many problems uh, with the help of the four bit. Uh, it you will get the same result. I get the same result, so obviously you will get the same result. And what is the methodology? Methodology is nothing but for the division we uh, we use the right shift, um, the right shift, and for the division we will use the left shift. Okay, whenever see that whenever you do the multiplication and whatever the bit and easily you, if you left on that moment you can get all the product terms. And here a quotient is done uh, in, the, in this fashion, isn't it? The quotient we get from left to right, but product will get from right to left. So for that reason, shifting is totally different. Now, question, uh, when you, uh, what is the operation? First, you do the left shift operation. Then you will subtract. If you see that after subtraction, it is a result is that uh, negative number. So whenever result is negative number, you shift the Q value that is zero, okay? So it is obvious that whenever you do the subtraction and you get the negative number on that moment, quotient bit will be zero, not it will be one. So after shifting operation, you will do the uh, subtraction. After subtraction, what will be happen? It is the negative number. You will restore it. Then you set the Q zero bit. So, uh, after this is the first iteration again same method you will do again left shift again subtract then again uh, based on the your cube uh, that is your uh, result that which is the negative on that moment it will restore and you can set the q0 zero to zero that means here again question will be zero now again I do the same operation after having the same operation, if you have the zero bit, that means uh, you don't have the negative number, it is a positive number. On that moment, Q state as a one, okay? And no need to any restore. Restore operation is not re required. In this way, you can iterate this process depends on the number of bits you consider for your, uh, your operation or your whatever the divided and divisor. I give one example better. Uh, suppose, It's very easy better. Now see that suppose I consider the sorry, uh, seven, what you can say that suppose three. Now, uh, if you consider the aim, consider the uh, A and Q. So aim seven means that what will be happen? Seven, you should write here. That is a zero. 1, 1, 1, accumulator is 0, 0, 0, 0, and this is a 3, you write here, divisor, always you will write the 0, 0, uh, 1, 1, okay? Now, what is happened? First, you do the shift operation, okay, Peter? So, if you do the shift operation in this way, then uh, what will be happen? Uh, 1, 1, 1, and here it will be this, and... Uh, here it will be 0, 0, 0, 0. And uh, you will, if this is not required. On a shift operation, you will do A and Q. Then uh, what will be happen? Um, next operation is A, A minus M. So what is A? A is 0, 0, 0, 0, minus M. M is that 0, 0, 1, 1, minus M, 0, 0, 1 means the two's complement of M. Then you will add, you will have the 1, 1, 0, 1. So this is the 0. Uh, and minus m is that two's complement of m that is one one zero one. That means you can add a plus m one one zero one. So you have the one one zero one, and here one one one, and you, you have to take the decision after the result. So uh, what is the result? You have the negative number. So if you have the negative numbers, then you have to do the restore operation. If you do the restore operation means that before this operation, whatever the value of A, that again you keep here, that is zero, zero. And you select the value of this uh, uh, here, that is what is the value of Q. So this is the blank, this is a vacant position you have. So here you, you should do the, uh, that value is the zero. Whenever you have the uh, negative, uh, negative uh, value result on that moment, Q0 set to zero. Okay, on that moment, Q0 set to zero, since you can say that A of, you can say three equals to one. So this is the, you can say that first iteration. You will do the same, same thing you will do again. What you will do, this is the aim. 
and you do the uh, left sheet one one zero that will be vacant and this one will be coming here so zero 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 now so after having this you should do the a cos to a minus m again same operation so what is the a that is zero 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 and minus m is that one one sorry this is a one no? so this is the one 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 now one one zero it is one it, this will be one this will be one so your result will be one 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 zero one one zero this is the one and zero one 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 zero one 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 zero and uh, here one one zero you have to take the decision for this bit okay now here see the result is again negative so again you restore restore means that zero 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 one you have to consider for the accumulator and it is a negative so you should consider the last bit of your q that is quotient bit that is a zero okay so this is your second iteration so for the third iteration again you can do that same way that is a zero zero one zero and you have uh, one yes one one not the zero this will be coming here so it will be one so this will be one drive pdf viewer ah uh, dan pakkadamma drive pdf ante em chustunam manu what happened better do you ask any question yeah see that here again you do the left shift operation 0011100 then again you have to select for this how you can select depends on your again do the operation a equals to a minus m now see that a minus m again you do this so what will be happen a is the 010011 and your m is 1101 so 110 and 110 Again zero, again zero. Okay, so again you have the value zero 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 zero. See that here you have the positive number. So for that reason, one zero zero. Again you have to consider here one. No, instead of zero, you have to consider one. So for these two cases, what happened? You have the negative result. But for your this third iteration, what is happened? You will have the uh, value that is a Zero. First bit is zero of your accumulator value. So that means this result is the positive, and for that reason, you can set the q bit here one. Quotient is one. So in this way, you have to use the third operation, and will get the result. Okay. I hope you understand the process. Do you have any problem for this restoring algorithm? Better. It is a monotonous, but you have to do in this way. so if you do the plain pen and paper you will do the same way you can you can use any uh, example with your pen and paper you can check it will have the same process okay and uh, why it is called the restoring algorithm because it is uh, doing the first subtraction considering the one of the divided and uh, divide with the uh, divisor and check that it is a negative number so um, i can give all again i have given the example suppose this is 6 consider only one bit four and divide means that you just subtract after subtraction if you get the negative result again you restore this value and again come to the second number that is 4 5 and again consider the 6 on that moment you give the positive result so when positive result on that moment you shift give the value Uh, for the quotient bit it is a decimal number so you can have 0 to 9 but for your binary number you will have only 0 and 1 so you have the value 1 for the first case you have the value 0 so in this way uh, and do the left sheet means that this are preserved this is not required to again do any operation with this bits msb of, of your divisor sorry the, uh, the, your your quotient is not required any do any any operation with your quotient so for that reason we just uh, uh, do the left uh, shift operation and we can preserve all the bits of your quotient so whatever you do in your plain pen and paper same thing is uh, you can do with the help of this uh, algorithm now another algorithm that is called a non restoring algorithm from the name you can understand that it is not required uh, required any restore operation 
that is only whenever you have the negative number negative number on that moment you do the uh, addition operation and otherwise do the uh, you, uh, you you do the you have uh, if you have positive number just do the uh, subtraction and depends on the, your uh, result you can do the uh, q0 equals to 0 q0 equals to 1 same as your restoring algorithm okay but here one time we have to do the restoring after doing all the iteration if we observe any negative value on that moment we have to restore so uh, restore means that uh, if a equals to a minus m you have done negative number then again you add means that a equals to uh, again you do, restoring means that again you do the plus m okay a minus m plus m the automatically mm will, will, will cut ultimately will get the value a so this is the way with the help of this operation we can do the restoring operation okay so and only once we can do the restoring operation and the others are the same way you have to do okay so do the left shift operation do the addition or subtraction depends on the bit of your a0 and after get after having the result of your you can set to the q0 value okay so if it is a negative set the zero so same the uh, your restoring method you can use the non restoring method so i hope you can do uh, you will practice with some uh, arbitrary, arbitrary you can take your uh, numbers and you will practice if you have any problem you will you will ask uh, in the next class okay here another thing you remember uh, the book consider the five bit i feel myself that it is not required uh, if you consider all the four bits it is sufficient actually it is ha what has happened it is a left it is a uh, one bit it is uh, it is the left shift operation uh, so it is considered the one extra bit and for your boost algorithm what is happening it is the right shift you you can take the decision with the help of q minus one and uh, for that reason you can take the one extra bit okay so this is the very uh, uh, very you can say that it's not have any problem i hope you will not have any problem to compute this type of operation. It is a very easy, normal pen and paper you observe very carefully with the help of some binary numbers and same methods are used in the form of the flowchart and you can draw the diagram. Okay, do you have any question better? No, no ma'am, not particularly ma'am. If you can see the notes ma'am, then we'll be able to clear out some other doubts ma'am. Okay, and another thing you will try, I have not checked the uh, restoring and non-restoring algorithm with the help of negative number. I have not checked, but uh, you try to check that. I have not checked. Next class, you will tell me that restoring and non-restoring algorithm that uh, you can, uh, that can follow this for uh, sign, sign number or not. And another thing you have to remember, sorry, I forget to say, that is a, that is a uh, uh, after doing all this operation how you can get the uh, uh, quotient and the remainder quotient you can have quotient you have from the q and remainder you will have from the a okay you remember this quotient you will have the from the q and whatever the ultimate value of a that will be your remainder you will practice this is not very tough Okay, but I will I will upload your uh, PPT. Next class, Vivasar uh, will take your control unit based on your most probably boost algorithm. I don't know what he will consider because uh, here uh, I have considered only the data path. But to design one uh, uh, full circuit, we have to incorporate some uh, uh, control. Uh, lines and that control for that control lines you have to design another control unit and based on that it can do all the operation what we can consider in your flowchart flowchart uh, you have considered the operations but at which time at which operation you that can perform that depends on the control unit here you have only the data path i have not considered any the control path most probably uh, director sir also will take one class uh, regarding this data path and control path. Last year uh, he has taken, but I don't know. Uh, this year most probably also he will take one class. Okay, better today after this.
Thank you, ma'am. You can leave. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, okay. You will practice with some uh, arbitrary.